Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about why people actually plateau with their weight loss. Okay. So what I want to differentiate, I want to differentiate cause versus effect. So many people uh, come up to me and they say, Oh, Dr. Berg, I'm not losing weight. What do I do? Well, first of all, I don't know. I have to find out what's causing that. So I'm going to talk about uh, some mistakes that people make and then we'll talk about what really people should do. But you have to differentiate what's the symptom versus the actual problem or the cause of the problem. Um, if we talk about people that plateau, um, they'll say, well, it's a slow metabolism, right? Well, that's really a symptom because like what causes a slow metabolism? Now, sometimes people jump to, well, it's just old age, you know, I'm getting older, well, then that doesn't explain the people that do get older and they still can lose weight. And I have other people that are younger that plateau as well. So I think the biggest problem, the biggest error is jumping to a conclusion before you evaluate or investigate. Okay. So when you go from symptom to cause, you have to do an evaluation. And this is really the weakness within the medical profession. It's the weakness with a lot of people. So you can't really figure anything out unless you have data, you have information. So you have to find out, number one, what is the person eating? Are they on the correct program? Do they have any body problems that relate to this? Why? Because sleeping could cause it, uh, a thyroid issue can cause it, a constipation can be a problem, all these other things, right? Um, you wanna know when did the problem start? What happened just before it started? Was there a change? Uh, autoimmune diseases happen after stress events. Uh, a lot of issues happen after a change in something, in change in your diet. You're doing fine and you change the diet and then you start gaining weight. Well, okay, that's important data. So evaluation is finding out associated symptoms, history, what happened just before, anything that might be connected. So. You don't always want to jump to a conclusion to determine that's it. That's the lazy way of doing it. Um, well, let's just take a lazy person. It says, well, why can't you lose weight? I'm just lazy. Well, are you sure that's what it is? I mean, it could be that you're tired, you know, or let's say you're procrastinating there. Well, maybe you crave too many foods because your diet is so messed up. So you want to go deeper. You want to start pulling a string and find out what is really causing it, the why behind it. Okay. So let's talk about what all the potential things that could cause a plateau in your diet that I see. Number one, the person is not sleeping. I see that often. The person is overtraining. They're doing too much that can stop. I had a lady, she lifted, uh, was it six, two and a half million pounds over the course of a, a year. That's a lot of weight she's lifted working out every other day for a whole year and she lost like one or two pounds. Why? Because she was overtraining and she wasn't sleeping. So we look at that. Um, another reason what can cause plateau or even a slow metabolism would be a thyroid condition. Okay. So that's something to look at. Um, but then you want to find out if that, if the person has a thyroid problem, what's, what's behind that. So it could be either a uh, high estrogen coming from an overactive ovary, or it could come from a bad liver or maybe a gallbladder problem, or maybe, let's say your gallbladder removed and now you can't convert T4 to T3. So you got to just keep pulling the string to find, find out what's going on. Um, so in order to evaluate, you have to have some understanding about the problem as well. So maybe you haven't had any anatomy and physiology classes, so you can't really evaluate correctly. So you're going to depend on the doctor, which, and that's where the problem is because here's what the doctors do. We're going to take a blood test. Okay. That's as far as they go. Do a blood test. Everything shows normal. So you must be faking it. Well, a blood test, even for the adrenal will only show up maybe 10% of the time, or even a liver problem shows up when the liver is almost completely destroyed. So you can't always go by that one piece of information. Um, another thing that I find that's probably one of the most common things is um, high levels of insulin in the body. It's called insulin resistance. Maybe even not even a diabetic state, but a pre-diabetic state. Now, if you do a blood test, all the common blood tests, you check uh, the A1C, which is an average of blood sugars for three months. That might be normal. 
uh, or you might check glucose, fasting glucose, that may be normal. Why? Because it's high insulin or insulin resistance could be a pre-diabetic. It hasn't, it's subclinical, it doesn't show up until later stages. So if the person, if requested from your doctor a fasting insulin test, that would pick it up. But you gotta know about that. But if that insulin is five to seven times higher, like it is for insulin resistance, <laughs> they're not losing weight because in the presence of insulin, the, all the fat burning hormones are nullified. So this is just all um, great information. So when you're pulling a string and you're finding out why, the questions that I'm gonna ask to evaluate someone is, I'm gonna ask all the symptoms of insulin resistance. Do you find like you're not satisfied after you eat? Do you get tired after eating? Do you crave sweets? Do you find you can't go between meals without being hungry? Do you find that you, um, um, you have a history of eating a lot of sugar? Like all these key questions. And then I'll know uh, pretty, pretty uh, closely what it is. And let's say, for example, I'm still confused. I kind of think it could be insulin resistance, but it could be this other thing over here. Well, you can always just start doing the diet or the remedy or the handling for insulin resistance and see if you start losing weight. And then we know that was it. So that's just, I want to just go deeper of why someone might be plateauing, but and know the pitfalls. The pitfalls are jumping to conclusion before you evaluated to find a real cause. And all the videos that I've done and what I'm currently doing kind of gives you a lot of data on experience of evaluating a lot of people so you can kind of spot things for yourself, okay? I have a quiz down in the description box that does some evaluation. It basically analyzes 104 questions and if you want to do that, go ahead and do that and we'll send you the results. But it actually assesses all the deeper root causes and then I give you a little printout of showing it what is behind all your symptoms. If you're interested, take it. But I want to just uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.